Welcome back to Our Issues Milwaukee. I'm your host, Andrea Williams. If you're just joining us, we are kicking off Black History Month, saluting historically Black colleges and universities. My next group of guests are all proud HBCU grads. Wisconsin State Representative Lakeisha Meyer, she's an alumna of Alcorn State University in Mississippi. She earned a degree in political science and Alcorn was founded in 1871. Notable alumni include the late civil rights activist, Medgar Evers, legendary author Alex Haley, and former Green Bay Packer Donald Driver attended Alcorn as well. Clifton Phelps is the Vice President of Business Development at JCP Construction. He earned a Bachelor of Arts in Political Science and English from Tuskegee University. It was founded in 1881 in Tuskegee, Alabama. The university was home to scientist George Washington Carver and to World War II's Tuskegee Airmen. And last but certainly not least, Nicholas Stokes is a graduate of Morehouse College in Atlanta, Georgia. He studied business administration with a concentration in finance, and Morehouse was founded in 1867, and famous graduates include the Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., Oscar-winning director and actor Spike Lee, actor Samuel L. Jackson, and it's uh, important to note, four of 12 HBCU grads who worked in the Obama administration were Morehouse men. How's everybody doing? Good. Doing well. Doing well. Doing well. Doing well. Doing well. So glad to have you here. And I thought this was the perfect way to kick off Black History Month because so much talk uh, is going on about HBCUs and the awesome people who are representing those schools. So uh, I remember growing up and uh, having, uh, we just talked about this last segment, uh, a different world and school days and things like that uh, really encourage me and make me figure out which one of those schools am I going to. So I'm interested in knowing from each of you, starting with Lakeisha, uh, what inspired you to attend Alcorn State? So it was a legacy decision, if you will. My parents met beneath the shade of giant trees in Mississippi, and I decided to keep that going. Um, most of the people that went to college in my family went to Alcorn State University. So that is our family school. Um, so we try to keep the tradition alive by going to Alcorn State and supporting the university. I love that. What about you, Clifton? Uh, for me, it was really just stepping on that campus. Um, I transferred. I went to another HBCU and I stepped on the campus of, H of Tuskegee University and knew that that was the school that I was going to graduate from. So I came there for a three day visit to visit one of my friends I graduated at Tech with and um, ended up staying there two weeks um, until I was registered. <laughs> 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 Next semester, it was just like, I just knew it was the school I was going to. Yeah, and it's okay to say you you spent some time at Wilberforce. Uh, yeah, I spent some time at Wilberforce across yeah. from Central State. Yes. Yes, and, yeah. and, and it's like, what I love is that you still were like, it's going to stay in the family of yeah. HBCU. So yeah. from Ohio to Alabama, it's all Absolutely. good. <laughs> Absolutely. And Nicholas, uh, it's so awesome to have you on this show because I literally have known <laughs> you since you were born. <laughs> and Long so, time. <laughs> of course, people know I've worked with your dad for over uh, 20 years and uh, to see you go on to be a man in the house and be so successful. Uh, talk about what inspired you to attend Morehouse. Well, growing up, I played a lot of basketball and I know I want to go to college on a, a scholarship, some type of scholarship, whether it be academic or um, for sports. Um, so I got a chance to speak to some of the people at Morehouse and I ended up getting a scholarship, went down there to visit got a chance to do a lot of research on all the prominent individuals that you named earlier in the segment. And it was just a no brainer. I couldn't pass it up. Yeah. And so uh, you were a part of the Milwaukee Fellows Program, which really yep. paved the way for you to head to Atlanta uh, on a full ride. So what are you doing now? And if you would share that with us all. I'm working at Johnson Controls as an analyst um, in procurement. That's what I'm doing right now. Yep. We're so proud of you. That gave me two <laughs> Thank you so, so much. Uh, I remember when you was jamming Nick on the radio <laughs> with your daddy. And so these are all great things. Now, you guys, uh, some of my best memories, um, if I hear a drum line, I just bust out in moves because I was on the dance team at Central State University uh, traveling with the band. And those are probably some of my 
favorite memories. Uh, what would you say stands out to you when it comes to that, oh boy, if I could do it all over again, I would. What, what would you say, Lakeisha? Uh, traveling with the band would be one. So SGA and the band, we all travel together. Uh -huh. um, you know, so I travel with Miss Alcorn State University and all the student government all travel together. So we were very close with the band. So we all would just have a good time traveling by bus. Lord, if you get me on a bus today, <laughs> but you know, but traveling by bus to each of the football games, going across the SWAC uh, conference to different games. Uh, it was just an amazing time. And one thing I will say is that I just missed the food on campus. We had really good food in the cab. What? <laughs> yes, yeah. Chicken Wednesdays was a thing. So we had <laughs> chicken Wednesdays, well, we had. We, we, I'm not going to tell you one time I think they <laughs> did give us uh, chitlins. I don't know why or where they came <laughs> from, but yeah. <laughs> just so, uh, Clifton, your favorite memories from Tuskegee? I would say just fellowship, right? Um, I would say fellowship with the people, uh, with the different people from the different areas. I travel a lot, so I get to hook up with a lot of a lot of uh, different alumni um, throughout, you know, the states. Um, and just being a part of, you know, something that was so big when I was small, or you know, when I was a, uh, in my teens and early twenties, uh, which was just just everything, you know, the homecoming, just the prep, the overall hustle. And I relive, I relive through everything. My daughter's also, a, she's a senior at Tuskegee right now. I and I was telling you, like, I'm living through it all, you know, everything. And I feel sorry for them because it's virtual now. So look, they, they <laughs> yeah. literally don't have the same experience, but I just, I just miss it. I go down there at least twice a year. And as soon as I get off the freeway, I'm honestly, I just relive everything, you know, from every single street, um, all the way down to, you know, the houses, the university, it's just all that experience that you just kind of start getting goosebumps when you jump in. So I just miss it all, honestly. I miss, I miss not having to pay nothing in life and care about, <laughs> that's what I miss. I miss, I miss, I miss having response, not having responsibility and uh, making up excuses that my daughter makes up to get money out of me. Yeah. <laughs> Right. So, we had so uh, much money back then. I don't know. Like, I traveled extensively and was like, how? Right. How? <laughs> no, I mean, I mean, and then remember, we were waiting for money in the mail. Yeah. And, and checks could float. In the hallway and people taking messages if they took a message in yeah. the door. Yep. <laughs> so, Nick, I don't know. If we're, rough we're rough times. It's not like... you. <laughs> <laughs> Did you come out of Morehouse, Nick? When did I come out? 2016. Um, okay, so okay, uh, yeah. So things were different. You had cell phones and yeah. things of that. Catch nature. app, all that stuff. So. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, I, I I would I would get on the freeway. Uh, Tuskegee's like uh, nine hundred miles from my parents' doorstep, and I would have no cell phone. <laughs> like just get on a freeway. That's the part I'm. I like, didn't have I'm a cell phone right. until probably my second year in college. So yeah, yeah me neither. Yeah. Second year in college. Second year in college, just, I had on there with your little MapQuest maps and just exactly. <laughs> Wow. But, but what's your favorite memory, Nick? Um, I have two. Um, meeting Spike Lee my freshman year. Um, that was really cool for me because obviously I researched him, watched all the movies growing up. So it was kind of surreal to get a chance to meet a um, prominent alum like that. And then um, homecoming. My first homecoming through my seventh homecoming has been one of the <laughs> greatest experiences ever. Um, just getting a chance to be in that space and feel like you belong and feel like um Everybody's just having a great time. It's just, uh, it's just you can't explain it. You can't really put it into words. I agree with you. And we know that individuals like Oprah Winfrey, she graduated from Tennessee State University. The late Thurgood Marshall graduated undergrad at Lincoln and then went to Howard University School of Law. And uh, I mentioned last segment, of course, there is Madam Vice President Kamala Harris, who went to Howard University, and she is also Lakeisha and I Soror. So these are fun times and just uh, really uh, seeing not just the AKs, but all of the sororities and fraternities come together to support and really just show the love. And so I'm wondering, um, if you guys can talk about um, how your HBCU experience actually prepared you for what you're doing today. My HBCU experience gave me unique and enriching opportunities across the board. 
um, that I don't think I would have gotten had I gone to another school. Um, I was able to intern um, for the former Senate Majority Leader when I was uh, in college. And that was an experience that I actually got to be heavily involved in politics um, and see how government actually worked um, from a, an up close and personal level. So I think that influenced a lot of what I'm doing today. Um, having run for office and, and some of the policy decisions that I've made. Um, so I don't think I would have gotten that had I not gone to Alcorn. Yeah. Nick, what about you? Being, being at Morehouse and being a part of the Morehouse Business Association, I got an opportunity to be in front of a lot of companies and speak to a lot of executives, which prepared me for interviews to get internships and to get other opportunities. Um, you definitely get a lot of hidden education going to HBCU. Um, it teaches you how to maneuver through the world as a Black person. Um, so that's how it prepared me. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I really share the story, but you know, I, I, I got down there with the wrong intentions. I, I don't know. I got, I almost got kicked out. So I had to wait for a trial, um, to get oh, kicked wow. out my sophomore year or my freshman year there, or my first year there. Um, but by senior year, I was a uh, standard vice president for, uh, SGA, and I was in charge of the Judiciary Committee for uh, Student Offenses. So I really had a growing period throughout college where I really respected and started to really enjoy the, the fruits of being at a university like Tuskegee. Like Tuskegee. So it, 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 I always say Tuskegee, Tuskegee raised me because it did. You know, um, my aspirations, how to survive, um, my network that I have for people that stay out of state the state out of the state of Wisconsin um that is the, just the just the people I mean my wedding was half Tuskegee so <laughs> I mean these are these are you know and I've been traveling for weddings I got a wedding in DC coming up um in uh next year so um from one of my roommates that I had one year so I mean it it the experience that I got from it the overall experience and how it crafted me I think it just crafted my network um yeah. and me to figure out how uh, that kind of changed my thinking towards, you know, just evolving. So, um, and I think that's kind of helped me with uh, you know, probably the reason why um, I'm in business development right now. So, makes a lot of sense. And I wanted to mention as we wrap up, uh, there was a recent story about the Milwaukee Fire Department Administration building downtown being named for the late Alonzo Robinson. He was the first Black architect in the city and state. He attended Delaware State University. Uh, got drafted to the Army and ultimately got his degree from Howard University. So we will soon have a building here in Milwaukee with his name on it, also representing HBCU. So thank you all so much for coming on today's show. It has been more than a pleasure just talking about all the memories and realizing we all have so much in common. Wisconsin State Representative Lakeisha Meyer, she's a grad of Alcorn State University, Clifton Phelps. He serves as VP of Business Development at JCP Construction. He graduated from Tuskegee University and Nicholas Stokes, he's a graduate and graduated with honors from Morehouse College in Atlanta. That's gonna do it for today's show. I'm your host, Andrea Williams, as always. Thank you for watching. And I do hope you join us again next week as we take another look at our issues, Milwaukee. Have a great day.